Hey guys, you're watching Mixed Info videos and in this video, I'll walk you through on how to read and extract the latest message received on a chat window in WhatsApp, alright? The related topic to this video is WhatsApp automation using RPA tool. If you haven't seen this video yet, please check out my channel for the video with this topic WhatsApp automation using RPA tool, alright? Also, I'll mention the link to this video in the description below. And I'm making this video since uh, in the previous video, there were a few queries on how to extract WhatsApp messages. So let us begin. To read a message from WhatsApp, we have used this activity called Context Aware Anchor. You can look for this activity from the activities panel on the left side of your studio, all right? And this activity, it has two sections. The left side is called the anchor and the right side is called the action. Since we are trying to extract the latest message received in a chat window, we have used this activity find element as the anchor. And we have indicated uh, type a message box that you see at the bottom of the chat as the element. All right. And to get the message from a chat window, we have used this activity called get full text. And since there are two types of messages in a chat, right? Uh, one is the incoming message and the other is the outgoing message. So how do we recognize if uh, this is an incoming message or an outgoing message. So to do that, let me open the selector window for this activity. Also, let me open uh, uh, the WhatsApp chat window. So on this WhatsApp chat window, I have this uh, message, the latest message that is being received. So we are trying to extract this. So for doing that, I'm clicking on indicate element. And when you do indicate element, you have to, to be very careful in selecting this message, all right? So you have to select it this way and not this, uh, the other way that is this one. So you select the full section of this message. And now on the selector window on the right side, there is something called class. So click on it. So within this uh, class, you see there is this message in. It means uh, it is for the incoming message. If it is for an outgoing message or any message that you have sent in the chat window, it will say message out. All right. And anything that you see uh, before this message in is not uh, dynamic. So we'll make it dynamic by putting a strict sign and clicking on validate, save it. So that is how you extract a message from a chat window on WhatsApp. All right. And also maybe if you want to extract uh, the time the message was received, for doing that, you can use uh, this uh, context aware anchor again. And for the anchor, you can use this find element activity and then indicate type a message box that you see at the bottom of the chat window as the element. And for the action, you can use this uh, get attribute activity and put uh, inner HTML. All right. And this activity will return uh, a very long string, which includes uh, the message receiving time as well as URL and many more. All right. So. To extract the message receiving time, we are going to store this inner HTML string in a string array. All right. So once we have stored uh, this uh, string in a string array, then you can use split method to extract the message receiving time. All right. So that is how you extract a message and uh, the time the message was received from a WhatsApp chat window. 
So I hope this video was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Watching.